we've been getting people asking us the difficulty of each subject in CFA level 1. So this video, we're going to rank the subjects that according to us, go from the easy ones to the most difficult subjects. Starting with the top, the what we would consider probably the easiest three subjects are number one, alternative investments. The reason is because in CFA level 1, this is a very straightforward, brief little subject, very easy to learn, very easy to score it. Second, at least at least students find it extremely easy to learn is corporate finance. And the reason is because when you're doing something like BCom, concepts from your college or from your past learning, which are again coming into corporate finance, such as cost of capital or net present value, uh, and it's there is a lot of number crunching in it. So students generally find it easy to solve problems which are numerical rather than conceptual. And third is ethics. Now ethics, while many people find it difficult, it's mostly because they've given a given ethics the least amount of effort. If ethics is studied with a little bit of understanding and detailing, the exam portion, the questions and 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 to pass ethics. Uh, as a subject is actually quite easy. Subject number four and five, equity and derivatives. Now, equity is again relatively simple because um, while they do introduce us to new concepts, it's something which most of us would be aware of about just because of our overall education background. Uh, the concepts are not difficult to learn even if you don't know about them. So equity turns out to be some students' favorite subjects because the, it's, it's easy to absorb and start essentially. Now derivatives. Now derivatives is, uh, I won't say simple, but luckily in level one, it's not even too difficult. Uh, you do get again introduced to complex topics and subjects which you might have never experienced and derivatives definitely becomes really intense in level two and level three. For level one, however, as an introduction, it's absolutely fine. Subject number six, FRA. Now, the reason financial reporting and analysis is put on number six is in level one, first of all, it has an extremely high weightage and the portion is quite vast. So it would take approximately a month just to complete the one subject out of 10 for CFA. Um, if you don't have an accounting background, once again, it's a little challenging. And even if you have an accounting background, learning accounting standards at an international level which are called IFRS or learning accounting standards for US, which is called US GAAP. Both are new. Uh, you've got to remember both. So it might become a little difficult and it combined it with the volume. It is something which you need to invest energy and effort and time on. However, it's not difficult conceptually. And once you crack it, it's extremely easy to score in. So that's the reason that FRA is put at number six because of the volume and the new concepts, but it's not at the bottom because it's easy to grasp it once you spend that, that one month of effort on it. Number seven, economics. Now economics is again vast. It again has high weightage in level one and economics has a lot of your past knowledge once again, which is your microeconomics, macroeconomics from grade 12 or even your undergraduation. So economics and the problem with economics uh, is that it's theoretical. There is a lot to remember, a lot to observe. And once again, it takes almost a month to just complete this subject. So for that reason, we've scored economics at rank number seven. Subject number eight, a quantitative methods. Now quants is so many reasons why it's put at number eight. Uh, number one, a lot of people are not as comfortable with numbers as they would like to be. Uh, this is, I according to us, it's more of a mentality than a real problem. However, um, people are definitely worried that quants means maths and I'm, I was not good at maths in school. So that's one. Quants, however, is not fully math. It is much more of statistics and that's what is difficult for a lot of people. That statistics involves uh, concepts which you've not studied in school, not studied in college, but you have to be good at it. It involves a lot of calculus. You have to use the, the calculator, which is not your usual one, which you specifically you carry to the uh, into the CFA exam and you have to learn how to apply the formulas there. You have to get really good with number crunching. And most crucially for quants, it's not just about the calculations and the marks you get out of it. 
they also expect us to know understand the concept and the derivation behind the formulas and once again that's where students generally have a difficult time if you feel you are good at numbers or not actually for that matter if you think you are good at logic cons is completely uh, its foundation is in logic because as long as you understand why something happened the logical next step and what to do after that you would be able to crack cons relatively easily subject number 9 and 10 the two most difficult subjects according to us for level 1 is fixed income and portfolio management and wealth planning now both of these subjects are ranked 9th and 10th because number 1 you most likely will have no background of it no matter what you do even if you have whether you've done bcom or bba or even bachelor's in financial markets uh if you come from an engineering background you are not going to have any exposure to fixed income and uh portfolio management once again there are a lot of calculations here you've got to use a lot of formulas you have to apply it using the new calculator uh and the the importance of these two subjects increases in level 2 and level 3 so again as a foundation as a base it's crucial that you know these subjects and that is why you've seen people struggle because they they have no ref frame of reference to understand what these concepts could mean and what these calculations are leading to that's why people find these two subjects relatively difficult so these are our ranks according to us from the easiest to the most difficult subjects for level 1 if you agree to them please leave comments if you have a different list or rather a different sequence please do let us know and as always do let us know for any other videos that you would like us to create if any part of this message seems like something that you can relate to or share it with somebody who you feel can relate to it please like subscribe